Hi everyone, my name is Jackie. Welcome to the channel. We are enjoying life's journey while on the path to financial freedom. So what I like to share on my channel is a lot of things about our progress and our journey. And I have started sharing with you some of the ways that I'm making money through self-employment. My husband works full-time. He does a ton of overtime. He provides very nicely for our family. My primary role is to stay home with our girls and to manage the household. Like I say, I am the CEO of our house or I'm queen of the castle. So I do manage a lot of that. And I, I like being available, but I also like to feel that I'm contributing in some way. So I do have some self-employment uh, income. I have some ways I can make money from home and some, some ways that I can make money when my husband is home and I can go out and make some money. So I've been sharing with you how I divide that money up. And hopefully it gives you guys some insight as into if you're self-employed or you're starting a business or running a business a good way to manage your money within the business as well. So let's jump on the Excel sheet and we'll get into more detail. So the ways that I can bring in money is I have my YouTube channel. So I have the ads here on my YouTube channel, which is paid through Google AdSense. You can also make money with Google AdSense through uh, a website or a blog. You can add that onto there. Um, I have an Amazon affiliate. So I have links in the descriptions of my video. Um, I also have an Amazon store, so you can go and check out um, the books that I recommend, some of the, the things that I use to help with Instacart delivery and things like that. And anyone who orders anything through my link, I do get a small commission from that. TravelQuest is my host agency. I am an independent travel agent. And then like I said, I also work for Instacart, which is delivering groceries for people, and DoorDash, which is delivering fast food and restaurant food to people. So those are the ways that I am self-employed. All of them give me a 1099 at tax time. Okay, I do have an LLC for my travel business required from my host agency. Uh, and this way, this is one that I do plan on building into a full scale business and possibly hiring sub agents to work under me once my clientele um, gets up to where I want. So that this is more of my long term plan. Um, DoorDash and Instacart are temporary. These are just, I'm mostly, these are to help with some of our personal finance goals, like saving up our emergency fund and paying off the house faster. And then Google, the YouTube, this is kind of, um, you know, it's, it's almost like a, a bonus because I do these things to help, um, to help inspire people and educate people. It's kind of my way of giving back and um, I am starting to make a little bit of an income for it. So it's really nice to see that my effort is being noticed. Just so today we're just gonna kind of go through and show you how things are broken up. So I have every Friday listed up here at the top because my husband gets paid every Friday. So I handle my self-employment income accounts at that time as well. So basically all of my income gets direct deposited into my income saving or income checking account. And then I follow what's called the profit first way of managing. So I have a profit savings account. I have a taxes savings account. I have my owner's pay checking account and I have our operating expenses checking account. So then I divide them up and you'll see here I have percents that I divide things up into. And this has been really helping just to manage the cash flow so that I can pay myself, but also reinvest into growing these other aspects, growing my YouTube channel, growing my travel business, things like that. Um, so I do have these lined up the best that I can with whatever Friday that happens to be. If you follow the prophet first, if you read the book, he actually mentions that you should only handle your, you have two days of the month or the 10th and the 20th or something like that. I don't know. And that way you're not stressing about it all the time. You just know like you can let money accumulate into the income account. When it's time to do the stuff, you do the stuff. And then you yourself as an owner, you'd get paid like twi twice a month. I do it every Friday just because my husband gets paid every Friday. So that's how we do that. So Google, I made, uh, YouTube, I made $743.48. If you guys have watched the previous videos, this is the highest I have been paid um, ever and I've had my channel since 2014 so this is huge this is amazing um, unfortunately for May I did see a drop so you know again it's not a consistent you can't you don't make a certain amount and then it's gonna stay at that certain amount you still have to continue to put in the work um, so May did go down a little bit you guys will see that the next time uh, but this is the highest one to date so that I'm really excited <laughs> that was a really cool month 
Uh, Amazon affiliate, I was paid $26.04. Uh, Travel Quest, I was paid $75.04. Personal, so this is basically, I had some things I need to pay for, but I didn't have enough money in my operating expense account to cover it during that particular week. So I used money out of our personal account, and then if uh, you come back down here in the my operating expenses, I paid the personal account back. Okay, This is just a way for me to track it. When tax time comes, that number would basically be discounted. It would not be calculated. <laughs> And then Instacart, I made $280 with Instacart. Uh, I didn't end up doing any DoorDash. My husband um, did all, my husband did so much overtime. Basically, he was working during the time that I normally would have been working. So all in all, though, for the month of April, I made $1,184.56 for self-employment. It's a pretty good month for me. So like I mentioned before, 5% goes into my profit savings account. So we added $56.23 to that. So that at the end of April was at $177.44. This gets split up every quarter. It gets split in half. And half of it comes to me as a bonus. So the owner gets half of that as a bonus. Um, the other half stays in there kind of as like an emergency fund for your business. The owner compensation, so the owner, that's me, I get paid half of whatever my self-employment is. So uh, I got paid $562.28. That went into our personal budget. You guys can watch our personal budgets. I share those every single week as well. And you can see then how is this money helping out our personal budget. And then our taxes, I put 15% uh, into our tax savings account, and that's $168.68. So now my tax account is up to $661.27. This money will stay in there until tax time. If I owe taxes, I pay the taxes. If I'm short, I can use part of the profit money. If I, if I have money left over, then I can actually take a little bit of bonus to myself, or I can um, add and buy something for the business kind of it gives you some options there the internet sixty six dollars and seventy three cents this is actually something I need to call on I just realized I was actually charged uh, ninety three dollars and sixty four cents so I need to see you know maybe I was in a probation period where I had a discount so I do need to call so I actually do need to update this because that was correct it was ninety three sixty four so this I do need to call so this is not here anymore. Otherwise, it should have been $66.73, so I kind of caught that while I was here with you guys. <laughs> um, education, $81.73. I did end up purchasing um, three new books and an audio program. Uh, equipment, $104.38. I, I bought some um, mounts and stuff for my GoPro camera that I can use on the cruise, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, and we'll see if that helps out with some of the filming. So that's part of a YouTube type related expense. Uh, phone was $30. And then personal development. This is something that's an ongoing thing that I have every month. And that's $30. Kind of like a membership in a sense. Uh, and then, like I said, we paid my personal account back $60. It would be showing that I would have had a negative um, $2.38 for the month. But because I did have some, I think I had $3 left in the operating expense account that covered that. So really this internet bill being um, higher than anticipated, um, it kind of, it could have really messed up my budget if I didn't have money already in the operating expense account. Um, I think I had, actually I think I had 30 something in there. So if I didn't have money already in there, like I said, kind of saving it, if I would have blown it all, I would have been overdrafted, right? So uh, you're just going to have to join me in May, and we'll see if our internet has gone up permanently or if I can negotiate them to bring it back down. I think that's what happened last year. I think I was done with like a pro, I think I had a promotion period. I It's probably over. So usually what I do is I just call back and say, hey, um, I need to be put back on that promotion or I'm going to cancel my service with you. And usually they put you back on it with no problem. So that's that. So basically, though, that's what you guys can see. That's what that's how much I made. And that's where I divided the money up into for my self-employment. Thank you for joining me for another uh, monthly income expense report for my self-employment. I hope it helps you in some way. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.